Tourism is booming in Croatia. More than 9 million people have visited the country so far this year, and over 41 million overnight stays have been recorded, a 12% increase compared to 2022. The government says this is thanks to its accession to both the Eurozone and the Schengen area on the 1st of January this year. But it may have made life a bit tougher for locals, at least initially. Uh, as part of the Eurozone, we make it easier for the tourists that are coming from the Eurozone. They don't have to look for exchange offices, they don't need to check the rates. But I think for the people who live here, it was a big change and people are still trying to adapt also to the new prices. Many Croats are finding inflation hard to handle. It peaked at 13.5% last November and while it has gradually been coming down, there was a spike in January when Croatia switched to the Euro. But not everyone is concerned. The prices are going up uh, already for uh, several years, so this is nothing special. Inflation has now fallen to 7.5% and some tourists are seeing the benefits. Tourism accounts for 20% of Croatia's economy, so it's vital for the country. For the moment, though, there seems to be a big difference between what the locals feel and what the figures show. Az általunk megkérdezett horvátok azt mondták, hogy az euró bevezetése óta hatalmas lett a drágulás, viszont sokkal kevesebb a turista. Ettől függetlenül az emberek optimisták, amire meg is van az okuk, hiszen az elmúlt hónapokban egyre több európai fapados légitársaság indított járatot ide az Adria déli részére. Az Euronews Sipos egy Zoltán tudósította Trogirból.